interned for Wool Shorts three times now, and the second time I interned for him was last winter break. And I pitched the idea of having a special week in the New York Times where all the crossword puzzles were made by Brown students. He was excited, and so we ran with it. It's really exciting to know that I have a puzzle coming out in the Times. I've told everyone, both my friends and people that I've just met, and uh, I'm really excited. It's, I think it's the sort of thing where people will, will talk about it and get excited that these young people at Brown are getting excited about puzzles and making them and solving them together. There are three basic parts to uh, making a crossword. First, you, you think of your theme. Once you've got your theme answers, you put them in the grid symmetrically, you put in your black squares, you put in some long answers, and then you've got to write the clues. And that's my favorite part because it, it really brings out the clash of the highbrow and the low. You know, you get to have a Simpsons reference next to a Hamlet reference, and that for me is really fun. So I spent the entire day, four days before this final, in my friend's room, him teaching me how to write crosswords. And by the end of the day, we had a pretty decent version of my final crossword. I think I studied the next day for the final. I ended up doing okay. It wasn't, it wasn't so bad. But it was worth it, because the, the puzzle turned out really well, and I'm really happy with it.